Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie here, and I'm back with some more Dragalia Lost. Yes, and you hear that dog in the background, that dog's name is Conan. It's 3 a.m. for some godforsaken reason, this dumb dog is awake and barking, and I can't really do anything about it, so... Apologies for that. This is the, the troubles when you record in a place that is not yours. You don't have any control over anything you do. With that all said, I'm here to look into some of the news and we'll talk about it a little bit and I'll give some of my thoughts on it. I think that will be something different. I don't usually, not to lie, I did this with Halloween Mem. So anyway, I wanted to do this because I think it's pretty fun and I like just talking with it, you know? It's more the Dragalia than just talking. So we'll talk about this unit a little bit and if you want to tell me how you feel too, then I'll gladly listen and I'll talk back and do all that good stuff. And of course, as always, if you like this video, if you end up liking this video, that is, leave a like. Uh, it, I, I'd really appreciate it. And with all that stuff out of the way, let's go in. So first things first, um, I believe on the Reddit, for the Dragalia Reddit, this was actually put up, these events were put up a little while ago. Um, by a little while ago, I mean literally a day ago. So the Accursed Archives is coming back. This is a, um, a facility event. This was for Dark. I have the specific... Um, facility for this one i remember doing it and it is about well let me just read it here this event will pit your adventure the group of your adventures against bosses of the light element you'll also be able to build an event related rewards facility facility for your halodrome or is it holodome not the halodrome i've been saying it wrong this entire time anyway here's the basic story about it is that and i won't spoil it because there might be people who are playing accursed archives for the first time but basically curran and the Harmacist, who I don't remember his real name. What is your name, Harmacist? Uh, it doesn't say right here. But anyway, Curran and Harmacist show up one day, and they're basically like um, occult cops, is the best way I could put it. And they're like, there's something going on in this library, and we have to basically look into it. And you see the dragon in the background that is Nyarlathotep, which is um, a dragon that is based off of... Uh, uh, what is that phrase called? It's like similar to Cthulhu. It is not Eldric. I mean, the the style of monster is Eldric, but it is Lovecraftian. It is based off of Lovecraftian monsters and stuff. So it will be coming back on the thirtieth, basically right after Halloween, from the looks of it. And you'll be able to get a facility that will increase your dark, um, your dark team, which is pretty good. Um, I'm sure a lot of people would have liked this to have this during the time when everyone was running a crazy dark team. Uh, and then finally, that's not the only event. Actually, this is something that's kind of crazy. For the first time ever, I think, we're going to be having two events back to back in that they're both starting the same day. So here's the story event that is taking place at the exact same time called Stirring Shadows. It starts the exact same day and exact same time. Uh, in Stirring Shadows story event, you can use your event items acquired for clearing main campaign quests at various events to unlock special stories. The Stirring Shadows story includes content that expands on the story to hold in the Accursed Archives facility event. To get the most out of the, Stirring Arc of the Stirring Shadows, we strongly encourage you to play the Accursed Archives facility event, which will be active at the same time first. So, um, yeah, Accursed Archives ends in a cliffhanger? I don't know if cliffhanger is the right way of saying it, but it definitely ends in a way that makes you go like, what? What's happening next? And you'll see when you play it what I mean. So this is obviously going to be a follow-up. And let me just quickly read this one because I have no idea what it could be about. When a little girl mysteriously vanishes, the search leads her would-be saviors to the immortal village, a place where eternity ensnares all who reside there. Encounter with the strange dragon and priestess who rule over the village cast the pursuit deeper into chaos and confusion in a village imprisoned by worship and obsession who really holds the truth. So, yeah, so that's what Stirring Shadows is going to be about. I think based off of ability, uh, based off of wording, I think this is going to be similar to the Valentine's Day event where you got, basically you just played quest and you got a currency and then you use that currency to unlock items and then unlock other things along the way. So I think that's the way this is going to be, it seems likely. Um, as for what the story is going to be about, here, let me go into this. So here is the the sum, summon showcase for this specific banner. Obviously, Harmacist and Curran are going to be on the banner as long, along with uh, the brand new buffed Gnarlhotep. I really hope I'm saying his name right. Gnarl. 
Um, we're, they're also adding Lafna. I hope I'm saying that name right. Who am I? Chaos, am I? So let's get down into what she does. She's an attack unit. She is a curious girl, obviously, based off of the part two of the story. Her skills are Chaos Gift, deals shadow damage to the target and nearby enemies. Poison foes take extra damage. Continually tapping the screen during the attack will unleash additional blows with up to a maximum of four. Sundering Shadow deals shadow damage to the enemy directly ahead. Co-op ability is HP 15%. The Faceless God 2 is one of is her main ability. Why are you barking, you dumb dog? Why are you like this? Are you anyway? Um, when shapeshifting, Lafna will transform into Narlahotep regardless of what dragon she is equipped with. Grants an HP regen buff for 20 seconds each time she shapeshifts. And she's paralysis resistance 100% and her dragon time is up by 20%. Um, so this is the first unit since Mim that has this ability, which is basically, I think they've started to, I think you're going to see a lot more abilities like Mim's where their shapeshift will turn them into a set thing and the dragon will just give a bonus. I say that because it looks like for the Mega Man event, we're only getting a Mega Man and not getting a summon uh, showcase for Mega Man, meaning other Mega Man characters. So that means Mega Man will just transform into some giant thing and then the dragon will just give a bonus from then on. Um, so it's really interesting. And she turns into, uh, you can't see it here, but it is a white version of Nyarlathotep. Um, yeah, she's very interesting. I think currently I talked to some of the members of Trash Alliance, and if you don't know what Trash Alliance is, it is my specific, it is, first of all, it is the actual alliance in, um, here that I, um, this in Dragalia, see, Trash Alliance, I'm the leader of the Trash Alliance, but we also have a Discord, and in the Discord, um, I was talking to Lerp, who was the co-leader, not co-leader, co-founder, there you go, co-founder, um, me, him, and, uh, Neb, aka Jom, aka Soup Tycoon, all basically form Trash Alliance together. Yeah, it is us three, we are the three founders of Trash Alliance. Now you understand the lore. Anyway, um, he thinks that it's possible that because... So Lafna really needs someone to be poisoned, and currently, if you actually look at her abilities, you'll see, you'll notice that none of her abilities cause poison. Um... So that means she's meant to be run with Delphi, the unit that was from uh, Fractured Futures, who is all about giving everything poison. So he thinks that for the current... Um... Okay, let me quickly look into it because I forget the name of it. I always forget its subtitle. It's so... Uh... Here we go. For HB... This one right here. High Jupiter Trial. No... Please, for the love of God, I did not mean to accidentally start this. Okay, Jupiter. I'll read your story later. Um, so for the Hype Jupiter trial currently, I think the meta is three Galicleos and one... Um, it actually might not even be three Galicleos. I think the team is either... It is either three Galicleos and a... Um, and a Delphi, or it's all Galicleos. Currently, the only thing you really use is Galicleo. Let me see if the rankings will show the teams. So, yeah. See, look at this. First place, all Galicleos. Second place, all Galicleos. Third place, all Galicleos. Fourth place, all Galicleos. Currently, the only reason you want to do High Jupiter Trial... I mean, actually, I guess the easiest way to run High Jupiter Trial is to literally just use nothing but... Um, Galicleo and she's really the the number one it's Galicleo and it's Shinobi it's those two you run and as you can see here the clear time is like literally 58 seconds 57 so people are he thinks that it's likely now that because of depending on how the um, bonus because of poison deals it might be that there might be room for two Galicleos Adelphi and Lefna that might be the new strat but Again, we won't know until the actual banner comes out and we can see how the unit runs and then we can see everything about it. I really think it's interesting that she's 100% like a companion I'll, to another I'll dark unit. <laughs> um, and I could definitely see... Def Delphi is one of those units who I think for everyday play you're not going to see a lot out of. But the second there's it comes time to fight a big boss, 
you bring him out because his poison damage is just ridiculous. It is insanely good. And if you were able to get him, he's definitely worth owning and stuff. So yeah, that's kind of the stuff coming up here. And obviously, um, to tomorrow, tomorrow as of this recording, on the 31st, we're going to get um, info about Mega Man, or at least they promised us info on Mega Man on the 31st. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, that's the banner. That's I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the story. There's currently some theories going around. Um, I think Nyarlathotep, if you've never seen his his dragon story, it is maybe one of the most... Most dragon stories are either feel good or make you feel sad for the dragon. Nyarlathotep is just like straight up like messed up. Like it almost makes you feel like we've accidentally put a villain into the team. He is that evil of a dragon. Most dark dragons are misunderstood or have some form of like honor or respect. Nyarlathotep kind of has that, but he has it in the most twisted way possible. Um, he's definitely some an interesting character, and I'm actually really glad that we're going to be focusing more on Curran and his basic like occult cops, because honestly, it's some of the coolest stuff that um, Dragalia has done in my in my mind. So anyway, that's today's video on um, Dragalia. That is, I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, of course, leave a like. I already said that in the middle of the video, so I need to stop asking you at the end. Uh, that's it, everyone. That's the end of a video. I'm gonna say goodbye. And if I could, I put a Halloween Ellie, uh, hya, but I'm too tired from work, so I can't edit it in. Sorry, Nighthawk, I know you were looking forward to that. Anyway, goodbye, everyone, and have a nice day. <laughs>